What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Demo Storm and we're back with Kingdom Come Deliverance and today I thought it would work on some of the side stuff. Um, this one. Get the deed. Or not get the deed, get this shovel from our friend, the miller? Oh, we're just gonna fast travel to the mill. It's easier this way. And someone told me that I can learn lockpicking from this guy, so might as well do that. Alright, first of all, shovel, shovel, shovel. I know a few things. Alright. Where did you go? Oh, I got a coin to... Can you teach me lockpick? Okay. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, it'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. I don't like this. This is weird. You forced it and broke the lockpick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize this. That is weird. Okay, I don't like this at all. My sensitivity is too high for this. Okay. Let's see if I can figure this out. We ran out of lockpicks. Yep. Hey! Okay, we're gonna have to do this another way. That'll lockpick. It's fine. So we need to go here. Just whistle in my horse's face. Skyrim the hill. There we go. Alright, so this must be Hangman's Hill. Hello, doggos and things. Alright, dig up the body, get the ring, we're done. Body. Body. Hopefully the guy doesn't see me. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Go back to Peshek. Okay. I think when we're at Peshek, we should sleep as well. Alright. To Peshek. There he is. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Oh, Jesus. Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. 
It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity. I suck like at it. Like popping a young <laughs> maiden's cherry. I have some experience. All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lockpick for the job. Well, thank you. Even though I don't know how to freaking do it right. If you guys know any, like, tips for opening locks, let me know. I've heard something about a controller is easier, but that feels ridiculous. I don't know. I just... I'm really, really bad at it. Um, sleep. I wish I could sleep on command like this. Wake up around there. Not bad. I want it to be daytime. I hate nighttime. Especially when it comes to, like, you guys having to watch the video and stuff. It's just too dark. Perfect. I'm gonna talk directly to the guy. See if he'll just give us the ring. That would be nice. There we go. But he always closing doors. <sighs> that or we'll kill the guy. Either one. Either one works for me. Oh, before we start, always like to save. That way we don't get backed up too far if I screw something up. I don't like to save scum, but it's more for if I, like, die or something. It's just, you have to. Especially for a YouTube perspective. I guess if you're playing the game regularly, I would probably save as well. All right, you're stuck. Yep, you're stuck. I'll just hit the whistle when you're out of camp. Are you kidding me? I'm shaking my head right now. Just literally murder myself. You know what? <laughs> Good thief. Done. Don't like to save scum, but that was baloney. It's, it's almost like last like arc back in the day. You guys remember you just run down a cliff and die. Yeah, this game is just full of glitches sometimes too. The worst ones I've heard about is um, you talk to an AI and then get stuck in a loading screen. And then have to go back like an hour's worth of effort. Yeah, screw that. At least the horse isn't all bad. Where are you? There he is. Hello, dogs. Wash myself before I talk to him. What are you doing? This is a bit awkward, but. Recently, you buried a convict, and, um, this convict, um... ...was a friend of mine. He, uh, he had a ring on his finger that I gave him for luck. And I figured, since he doesn't need it anymore... And you think I rob corpses, so I must have it? Hmm... 
Don't lose your temper. I meant no offence. I can pay you for it. It's yours. Oh, easy. I'll pay some money not having to lockpick. Hopefully you guys can teach me something about lockpicking. The specialty to it. It, it might be my mouse sensitivity is the problem. Because as soon as it starts moving, my mouse will go way past it. Oh, why do we... Traveling the same thing over and over is not worth it to me. do 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 Oh, look at that. We're here. Very simple. My respects to you. I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. Nice. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. Teach me to pickpocket. What am I going to say he doesn't want to be a thief? I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? I have no coin. Sorry, but I'm not going Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Hmm. I don't need to learn to pickpocket or anything. I do want to attempt lockpicking one more time. We got the practice chest over here. Did my guy say he's not a thief because I didn't steal this ring back? So it does stay in the same spot. Yeah, like, this is wonky. There we go. Alright, so I gotta be very, very, very slow with my mouse. That's good to know. Alright, where do we have to head for this mission? Where is it? Okay. Sakra. It's hellishly deep here. Yeah, so we don't want to swim across there. Bridge is around the corner. Got it. All right. Finally on a journey. Away from home for the first time ever. Well, I mean, we were away from home, but you know what I mean. We're finally getting out. Horsemanship zone. Nice. Who are you? Before that, we finished a part of the quest. A mercenary. What's the matter? Ah, nothing's the matter. I just like to pass the time of day with a fellow wayfarer. I see. What do you have in mind? 
we could have a little bout of combat for the sake of practice. All right. All right. Why not? Excellent. I trust you have something to wager. Uh, I don't have enough money. Ha! <laughs> and I was thinking of taking you for everything you had. Nothing to see here. He wanted to take all our money, guys. Ugh. Now, what do you got for demo? A shield? Some gloves, some groschen. Dried meat. Ooh, a mace. Some lock picks. Right, we are too heavy. Oh, we have horse. Nice. Okay, so I know you can store stuff inside the horse. by defense. Not bad. What does this even say? Nothing important. Just tells you my graphics card in my memory. Not bad. Alright, we ride. He didn't want to fight me. I didn't have money. Hopefully this guy will give us money for this ring. I'm trying to map out the way. Money? Who Stop are you? and talk a while at least. You don't want to talk. Oh. What is it? It's just that you look like someone who doesn't mind a bit of adventure. And I'm looking for someone like that. It's a little complicated. Let's just say I know where there's some riches buried. And you could persuade me to share that knowledge with you, for a reasonable price, needless to say. I've no time for such tall tales. I want money for this type of stuff. The insolence of you. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We ride. Got ourselves a new little coverall thing. Right on the other side of this river. Maybe we can sell some of the stuff on the horse to him. Some of the stolen gear. Christ be praised. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? 
Peshek told me about you. <laughs> what the? Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see mm -hmm. if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're... Uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Nice. Oh, the game saved itself. All right, so he'll buy some of my junk. What? That's worth 340? I'll, I'll sell that. Um, check basket. Haggle it up a little bit. Get some money. I'd like to discuss the price. Aye. We need a little bit of cash. I feel like we're we're lacking in the cash department. Three eighty. What about this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. We agreed. That sounds pretty interesting. A little less, and I'll be satisfied. We're pissing him off, probably. Three sixty-five. All right, so. Not bad. Made some money. I know our horse had. Nope, that's not what we want. No. We need our cover. Can we have a cover? What goes in this slot? Outer garment. Hmm. And then right here, get our linen hood over us. Very good. That's 15 defense. But. No, that's five. Not even worth it. I'd rather keep the stolen goods on me. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. See if we can get some money off of this guy for selling some of the stolen goods. <laughs> get around that. We don't I've got some goods here who We don't need a lot of the them. stolen goods oh, that we have. Right. I can Let's find other ways to buy them. How much money you got? You got 135 on you. Oh, we didn't grab the weapons. That's unfortunate. Not gonna give him my my chainmail. I want my chainmail neck thing. Um, 
20 for like 20 lockpicks. Oh, those are expensive. Holy crap. Can't read yet, so. All right. We should be good. All right. Now, what's our mission now? Nothing? Let's head here. Actually, I can go and get some sword training, probably. Oh, he is in Ratai. <laughs> that mercenary, if he ever finds us, is gonna murder us. Knocked him out and left him in a bush. Oh, wait, no, we killed him. I forgot we killed him. We're bad people. Bernard, are you here at the training yards? Or are you still sitting back at the other place? Wait, where's the training yards? Here, yeah. Oh, Bernard is not here. He must be still at the stables, so we must have to finish that to get more training. Unfortunate. Ginger's over there. Helmberg. There is a combat arena here. Let's travel there. I want to learn some sword combos before I go out and like do more. Unfortunately, Bernard is hiding, so we'll find another combat arena and see if we can get some more training. I want to learn combos. Wayfarer. Wait, what? Hey, can you help me? I need sure. to What do you got? My respects to you. Where are you going? To Ushitz. I have to see the bailiff. Um I'm a little lost myself, actually. Give me a moment to look around and figure out where we are. Thanks. He needs to head to Ushitz. Uh, do we know where Ushitz is? Nope. All right, we're going to give him fake directions. Where are you going? To Ushitz. I have to see the bailiff. Go north through the woods. Ah, thank you very much. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's north through the woods. Hopefully it's here. No idea where Ushitz is. Who are you? What is it then? <clears throat> it's a... About this, I challenge you to a duel, sir. What? You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. All right. I'm damned if you know what you're after. But since you're so keen on challenging me, let's do it. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> okay, okay. Kurva! Oh no, he's much better. Okay, okay. Get what for? Ah! 
think I need to train a bit more. If only I were as handy with a sword as with a spinning wheel. Hey. Ah! Yeah. Okay. We kind of cheated. Alright. We, we won the door, guys. We won the door. Who are you? What is it? It's just that you look like someone who doesn't mind a bit of adventure. And I could use a man like that. It's a little complicated. Let's just say I know we already talked some to riches you. buried. And you could persuade me to share that knowledge with you. For a reasonable price, needless to say. Sounds a little fishy to me. How do you know about it? Well... I helped this merchant out, see? His wagon got stuck in the mud, and in return, he had shared it with me. He told you where he had money hidden? That sounds unlikely. The thing is, at the time, he wasn't quite alive, see? What? <laughs> I mean, I found the merchant dead in his wagon. So me and my cousin uh, freed the wagon, and as I was helping him into the grave... We dug, well, my hand accidentally slipped inside his coat and caught hold of this parchment with something scribbled on it. Right. No beating about the bush. Eh. That's a rather wild story. But worth a try. Excellent. Here, take this. And I wish you good fortune in your search. We're going to fast travel up to that point. <laughs> I know some people might not find fast traveling bigger. But I mean, I don't have time to walk across the map on foot or on horse. Alright, there's an arena here. So hopefully we can learn some combat moves and not need to whip out our bow in the middle of combat. Combat arena over there. Wait a moment. You're him, right? The boy from Scallop. Stop talking. Oh, Sir Robert. Good day to you. I'd like to improve my swordsmanship. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? No. Well, I'll think it over. Oh. So we need to level up our sword. What is our level on sword? It's four with one point. Ew. Blunt strike. Stab, left slash, down. Carry an opponent strike to the side. From that seems... Too much work. Knew this one. Stab him in the face. Alright. So from here... We need to travel far. Interesting. So now we have to head back to the ginger. Maybe I shouldn't stop. For every way her own, I can make it. We only have to head here. Okay. Do 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 do. I'm not gonna stop at every wayfarer. I think that's the best decision. Then we have these like pre-ordered treasure maps in our inventory that we can go and check out in the next couple episodes. I don't know how far in the main quest you want to really go before, like advancing. Oh crap. It's night time. Alrighty. Well guys, it's time to end this episode here. Thank you guys for joining me for today's episode. 
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see in this game. And I'll try and get on it. So until next time, have a wonderful day. It's dark outside.